What is going on, YouTube people? New York Cards and Comics here. No jokes. We got serious business today. Um, this is a pretty big deal. Uh, I know a lot of people go wishy-washy on the comic book content. A lot of people really like it. A lot of people are whatever. Uh, this is a massive deal. Even if you're not necessarily invested in the comic book space, you're probably going to want to listen in on this one. Uh, just because this is absolutely wild at this point. So, uh, may or may not have saw it on Saturday. I just to give a little bit of background here. Uh, I did a video about um, essentially it looked like some comic books were maybe getting switched out of a holder, getting reholdered, and getting massive price increases. Basically, to really just boil it down the nuts and bolts. Go check out that video if you want to see the full thing. And this all comes from a friend of the channel, Manu, 9.9 .9 Newsstand, did uh, a video on, or posted a bunch of stuff on Instagram about this. They've done multiple live streams since. But that's essentially the gist of it. People were getting a high-grade copy, a 9.8 of a book. They were getting a lower-grade copy of the book. They were figuring out a way to get the slab open, replacing the high grade with the lower grade, sending it in the CGC for a reholder. And CGC was reholdering it at the grade that it was originally graded at because they're not reevaluating the book, at least not while well, it appears not at all. There's an inner well inside the CGC slabs. The thought is, is maybe they are cracking it open enough to get the book out inside the inner well, swapping the bad book in, and then maybe figuring out a way to reseal a little bit or maybe even cracking it a little bit and then submitting it back in for a reholder. And this lower grade, lesser copy is getting bumped up to a higher grade that they are then selling at a massive profit. That's essentially the gist of it. It's been a little all over the place on exactly everything that went down, but shout out to Automatic Comics. Uh, I'll call him a friend of the channel. I've been on live streams with him before over on Swags' channel. Swaggle Haas has done a bunch of videos on this. He nailed this uh, last night when you're all watching this. I'm recording this Wednesday night, immediately after the live stream. Uh, this is the nail of the coffin, and this is absolutely really scary stuff. As someone that owns a lot of CGC slabs, this is super concerning. Now, I don't have anything super high grade, and I think that's mostly what these people are targeting to maximize that return. Let's break down what Ryan found. And once again, shout out to Automatic Comics. He did all the legwork on this one. Amazing super sleuth. I will link to his video. Go check it out. If you're in the comic books at all, he is a fantastic channel to watch. Does great, great content. So our this is our bad eBay seller. Comic Selects. This is the one that originally got wrapped up and everything. This is the... Mark Jewelers that started it all. This right here sent everything down the path. This and Manu's research sent everything down this path. So, as always, the internet detectives always win. So people started digging through and scrutinizing every single one of these. Now, this is the one that we're gonna call in the question today or the automatic found. This is a one or a one one eighty one first appearance of Wolverine in a nine o sold on October thirty first for seventy one hundred bucks. Once again, this is the seller that is doing the potentially shady stuff, and it really looks like it is one hundred percent shady. After you watch this, so there's the nine o. We'll pull this up here. Here it is, nine o sold seventy one hundred bucks, October thirty first. Here is the cert number four two six five zero four. Three zeros and a three. We go into GPA. We type that in. There's that sale there. October 31st, $7,100. Here's the thing. GPA registers all the cert numbers on a sale. So you see I did a control F here. What do we have here? The same cert number down here. Once again. Automatic found all this stuff. I'm just going off of his video. I'm just replicating what he did to verify it for myself. Here's the same cert number here sold back in July for just under $10,000. And 
interesting. Once again, here is the book that sold on the 31st. There's the cert number, 426504, bunch of zeros and a three. Here's the one that sold, uh, what was the date on that again, just so we have it right. This is the one that sold on July 10th. There's the cert number, 426504, a bunch of zeros and a three. Okay. Same cert number as this one. Obviously, what do we see right away? Different holder. Oh, well, that's because they sent it in for a reholder to get a custom label. People do that all the time. No big deal. Here's the issue. This is not the same book at all. First thing you notice, let's pull this up. Look at the wrap. There's a nice white line on the edge of the wrap. Up in the corner here. Look how close the value stamp is to the top. And it looks like there's a little tiny crease there. Let's go over to the good one. What do we notice? Let me give you guys a little, little zoom zoom here. That wrap is clean. That is a clean wrap. Down at the bottom, it shows a little bit of white. Up at the top, none at all. White at the bottom, none at all. Go back to this one. White all the way down top to bottom. Let's look at this corner again. Look how close the top of the value stamp is. I'm sorry, not the value stamp, but the Marvel the comic code stamp, I should say. That little edge right there. There's not much gap between that and the K on the Hulk and the edge of the book. Let's pull this one back up. Pretty big gap there. Clearly not the same book at all. So what did Automatic do? The theory was, and it's it's funny, because this is something Swaggle House and I kind of talked about uh, almost seven months ago on a live stream about, you know, do we really want to know? And I talked about, you know, different pages getting married in, and I think we mentioned value stamps. I don't remember. I'd have to go back and double listen to it again. But what Automatic's theory was if you were going to do this, and if you're not familiar with 181, Hulk 181, there is what's called a Marvel value stamp inside. It was basically a coupon that people would cut out and send in. And I forget what you would get for it. I don't remember off the top of my head, but you would cut it out of the book. It didn't affect the story. You would cut it out of the book. So a lot of 181s are green labeled with a value stamp removed. It torches the value on it, cuts it in almost half, if not more. So. If you were gonna scam on this, you could get a high grade with a value stamp missing for pretty cheap. Swap it, send it in, have them reholder it and have it get a blue label and maximize your money. So Automatic did the legwork. He went through because on GoCollect, they image every sale and searched for this particular book just by eye, looking at each individual image, trying to track it down. And boy, oh boy, what did he find? Here is a CGC 8.5 qualified, Marvel value stamp missing on page 10. This sold uh, September 10th, 2023 for 3,300 bucks. Let's pull this one up and look at it. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Give you guys a little zoom zoom. All right. Look at the edge of the Comic Code Authority. There's that little crease that cuts across the black of a K there. Look how close that is to the top. Let's go back to the 9.0 that sold. Look how close the value or the Comic Code Authority barcode is. Little stamp at the top. There's that little crease across the corner in the exact same location. Here's the edge. Going down. Looks pretty damn similar, doesn't it? Here's uh, two things I noticed. I don't know how common this is. We got a little black dot right there. And a little black dot right there. Come back over to this one. What do we see there? A little black dot there. And a little black dot there. 
But to me, this corner, and this is the same thing that Automatic came into, that corner right there is the death sentence. That little crease across the black part of the K is identical on both books. So, someone has taken, allegedly, sure as hell looks like it, a CGC 8.5 qualified. Took this case from a legit 9-0. Figured out a way to crack it open. Slid this book out in the inner well, most likely. Slid this book in. Sent it off to CGC. Said, hey. Maybe they didn't even say it was damaged. Maybe they just said, hey, I want to get it reholder with a custom label. CGC said, okay. Reholdered it. Now we just turned a $3,300 book with a missing value stamp in an 8.5 into 3300 bucks. what they paid for this one, into a $7,000 blue label. Hell of a good gig if you could get it, boys and girls. Doubled their money even after eBay fees almost. This is a massive problem. Massive problem. Um, it seems like they are targeting, because if we go back to Comic Selects, uh, he's pulled all his listings. Uh, we'll just go to completed items here. Seems like they are really targeting the custom labels. And I'm guessing the custom label is what they are using on their out. And some of these may be legit. Uh, people have already done that, begun to done their homework on all these. But it looks like they are using that custom label as the angle for the reholder. So they bought this one, which has the MVS stamp removed. Slid it into this one and sent it in and got it reholdered. And here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. They still have this book. It's just not slapped. So now you get to take this one, send it in the CGC, get it graded. It should 9-0 again. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it drops to an 8-5, whatever. But now you have this one to sell as well or keep. So you get this one, crack it, flip this one in, slide this one out, send the bad book in, get it in a 9-0 holder, and you still have a raw 9-0 that you could send back in for regrading. As of time of recording, CGC has not announced anything on this. I reached out to them specifically and asked. That was before this came out. Uh, it was late on Wednesday afternoon slash early evening when I sent it, to be fair. So I didn't expect to hear anything back. They have got, I, I would say get in front of us, but it's too late. The trains left the station, but we have to hear from CGC on this. We have to. They have to come out and say at minimum that they are at least looking into it and that, and what they are doing, what they found, and honestly, anyone that purchased any one of these books, they should be up. CGC should reimburse them. I don't know what CGC's guarantee is for comics. I'd have to look. I don't know that off the top of my head. But anyone that purchased one of these books from this seller should be eligible to get something back. And then they have got to address what the issue is. How is this happening? They have got to get confidence back in their label because right now especially something like this a hulk 181 with that marvel value stamp thing they have got to change their policies and procedures on that they have to start cracking those inner wells maybe they are maybe they're not they have got to start double checking this stuff there's no way this should happen no way they better be tearing stuff apart in that office trying to figure out what went down with these and getting a public statement out there because this book 
And I forget the issue number off the top of my head because it's late at night. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man book, I own a copy of it, with the first appearance of Hobgoblin has a tattoo in it. That would be another one that would be ripe for the picking. Uh, does he have any of those on his sold listings? Let's see. Right there. Bingo. There it is. Uh, an ASM 238. This has a tattoo in it that often gets removed and sells for less. If the tattoo's been removed, I don't know. I'm just saying. Just saying. Because that's the thing with the value stamp. You could get a high grade in a value stamp. This is an 8.5. This would very easily, in an inner well, sent in for a reholder or whatever. If someone, because you assume they get it in, they take a quick glance at it. Yep. Okay. You're, we're going to reholder this. We're not going to regrade it. This looks, you know, this looks like a 9.0 book. You know, sending in an 8.5 to try to pass it off as a 9.0 is not that crazy. You know, the grader would glance at that and be like, oh, okay, yeah, hey, we're good here. Cool, done, good. Just slap the, put the inner well in. Maybe they don't even crack the inner well out. I don't know, or they do, and they don't even think to flip through the book to look. Reholder it up, bingo, bango, boom. Off and running. The only other thing that could potentially be going on here, and this is where we really need to see CGC come out and say something, is if this whole slab is fake somehow. And they're reusing the certain number. I don't think that's what it is. I don't know. I think it's more the what we just talked about versus someone's completely faking the slab and the label top to bottom. I don't think that's what it is. I think this is either bad policies on CGC's front, negligence. I don't really know. But they have got to come out and say something. This is a massive deal. Massive deal. All I got for you, boys and girls. We will catch you on the next one. Peace.